Hi guys, I'm Toby Ball working as application scientist with Celex Limited. Today I'm going to show you how to unpack the chemo pump and to set up the chemo pump. This is a chemo pump box. Let's open the box and see what is there inside. This is a power supply, the power supply lead, the chemo controller, the chemo pump, and the lead which connects controller to the pump, the iPod touch, and the chemo connection tubing. And this is the chemo pump quick start guide which gives you all the details of the connections and everything so i recommend you to go through this one thoroughly before you start connecting the pump this is a power supply lead and this is a power supply for the chemo controller so first you plug in the power supply and the other end of the supply goes to the chemo controller and you turn on the power supply switch you could see two red lights and you need to wait for 30 seconds to turn the lights to green. The next step is to connect the chemo controller to the pump. This side you can see four different slots which gives the option to connect four different pump to the same controller. This is a lead which connects the controller to the pump. Take one side of the lead, connect to one of the ports and connect it to the pump. For your convenience there are two velcro strips fitted at the back of the chemo controller. You can open it like this and this can be fitted on the side of your incubator. Next I'm going to explain about the chemo pump. This is a pump. And you hold this right. There are two ports for the pump. This is the input of the pump which is at the bottom and this is the output of the pump which connects to the biochip. And this is a bottle for keeping your media and this is a bottle holder where the bottle sits. These are the four sets of tubings which comes with the chemo pump. This is a wash tubing, chemo inlet tubing, a chip inlet tubing and the chip outlet tubing. This is the iPod touch which comes with the chemo set. You need to power this on first then you have to connect it to the computer and connect it to the iTunes and download the iKima app from the iTunes.
the next step I'm going to show you how to wash the pump for that you have to arrange a petri dish and a normal 5 ml syringe for washing the pump there are two tubings which called the wash tubings we take it out from the wrap one tube will go to the inlet of the pump and the other will go to the outlet of the pump before connecting the tubes take off these caps from both sides of the pump Now I have the syringe with 70% ethanol to wash the pump. You take the syringe and connect it to the inlet of the pump. And the outlet of the pump goes into a petri dish. Let's go to the wash option and click the wash button. You can see the liquid coming through the out outlet of the pump. You can always press the syringe to make the washing step much faster. Let's stop the washing by clicking the stop button in the app. So I'm gonna put media into the media bottle. Take the Kima inlet cable. One end of the cable will go to the bottle and the other end will go to the input of the pump. The bottle sits in the bottle holder. Take, take the kip, chip inlet tubing one end goes to the pump output and leave the other end which connects to the chip it has to go to the petri dish and this is to wash the pump using the media Take the iPod touch, go to the wash page, do the same step, click the wash. You can always see the media coming in to the inlet of the pump and it goes through the outlet of the pump to the petri dish. Next I'm gonna tell you how to connect the inlet tubing to the chip. So now I have, have my chip seated with the cells. Before connecting the tube to the chip, take your iPod touch, 
go to the perfusion mode, run the perfusion step with your set parameters. So once you start the perfusion, you will see the liquid dropping here. And you gently connect it to the one side of the chip. Now take the chip upload tubing connect it to the other side of the chip and the other end of the tube goes back to the bottle. So this is the way the media is recirculated through the tube to the chip and through the from the output of the chip it goes back into the bottle. All these steps have to be performed in a biosafety hood and once the connection has been done the pump along with the chip will sit in the incubator while your controller will sit at the wall of the incubator. Thank you for your attention. Have a good day.